hello everyone welcome to my channel asp.net core and uh, today i am going to show you the next video tutorial of maui and you know that uh, in the last video tutorial we will dis uh, uh, we did discuss about about uh, resource dictionary uh, that is the example of the resource dictionary with the uh, selectors and you know that uh, how to use selectors uh, if uh, create a new folder like selectors and in which you can add a new class that is a product data template selectors and that class is actually applied on the resource dictionary by using the data template okay so each and every data template is filtered in the selectors so here we uh, just i'm going to uh, inherit that class from the data template selector and here we have a product data template selector and you know that uh, each uh, dictionary resources in which we have a method that is own select template that return the data template and uh, in, in which we have a object item and bindable object that is container so object item item as a product just i want to consider it so is popular uh, check it is popular item so is popular item dot is popular if it is popular yes then revert it not if it is not, then you can use application dot current dot resources try get value product list uh, product dictionary. Just I want to pick it up product a dictionary. So uh, here we have a resource folder, and you you notice that uh, here we have a list of product dictionaries available, and uh, you you know that app icon fonts images row uh, where we have just uh, splash styles. In the styles tab, you can say that here we have a product dictionary. So uh, just you can say product dictionary like that. The name of the it's not a name of the file. Just you can use uh, data template x is a product dictionary. You can see. So uh, here we have a product dictionary and uh, product dictionary uh, have a template like looking like that data template stack layout frame like that horizontal option vertical option height request and so on and these are the templates okay so just i want to uh, pick up uh, the name in the collection view bind collection view bind here we have a, a dictionary just uh, uh, just i want to se select that selector first of all by using the data template and just assign the key that is the data template that is the last video tutorial of your resource dictionary how to use with the selectors okay in this video tutorial just i'm going to uh, now you can say that uh, here we have a uh, simple uh, method through which we can design uh, refresh view just i want to use refresh view uh, on the each items so uh, here we have a, a simple demonstration of your uh, output on the basis of the collection view bind and you can see that here we have a list okay so here we have a list like that okay so just I want to uh, show all these items in the resource dictionary so just I want to use res refresh view so first of all add a refresh view in just uh, above the collection view so here we have a refresh view and the command is the binding refresh command and is refreshing property of the refresh view that is also a bindable property so just i want to use refresh view so just refresh view and now you can use uh, first of all stop the debugging and then after we can use a refresh command in the uh, view model so just uh, select this and close all the tabs and you know that uh, there we have a product view model class so just i want to use refresh command as well so uh, here uh, here we have a you know that uh, it's a uh, constructor so just i want to uh, create both properties like that uh, one property that is is refresh first of all and that is the command okay so just i'm i'm going to create it so you can notice that uh, here we have a, uh, a boolean property like is refresh property and here we have a command that is a refresh command 
and that is the asynchronous command and so first of all is refreshing is true i mean to say that uh, the boolean property is true and uh, delay um, task dot delay 2000 uh, millisecond i mean to say that uh, two seconds and refresh items on the refresh item um, item method just uh, here we have a list of the uh, product okay so a list of the product and in the um, constructor uh, here we have also called that the same method but on the each refresh the refresh property is true and after the 200 uh, two, um, second after the two second the item will be reloaded again okay so that uh, that method is used just uh, in the caching you can say that if your page is cached uh, for the one uh, minute then you can use refresh items on the each two seconds after the two seconds you can just refresh the items and after that is refreshing is false again so uh, that is command is very useful uh, for the refresh uh, for the refreshing uh, and refreshing is a uh, most popular uh, thing to uh, to use in your uh, in your code so you can use refresh wait for some times and you will see the refresh how the refresh is working like that so here we have like that you can see that uh, here we have it's a refreshing but it's uh, continue till the time because your property will not updated uh, right now so just I'm going to close first of all and add add I notify property in the product view model and update the properties so add I notify property change interface after adding the I know uh, I add um, add I notify property change interface you can see that your product and there is refreshing property will be changed after some times your uh, your refreshing is uh, done and you will see that your output So here we have, okay, after the two seconds, your refreshing is closed automatically, okay, and the refresh item will be loaded in the bottom, okay. In this video tutorial, uh, just I'm going to about a paging also. Paging, you know that uh, page is divided in the number of uh, the page items. Like, uh, just I want to show only the number of uh, items on per page. So, uh, you know that uh, Googling, Google is also support the paging because uh, lots of uh, data just I want to pick from the database table. So, overhead is occurs. If you, uh, if you load all the data from the database table on the per page, then overhead occurs so uh, paging is necessary so how to implement paging in uh, maui that is very simple you know that a refresh command uh, refresh item have a list of the products so just i want to use paging right here so integer items uh, last item or you can say that index is zero so by default the index is zero so i want to set it and here we have uh, you can say that integer item per page item per page so i want to set a three only uh, just i want to set item per page and you know that just i want to uh, wear items what is the items and items is actually looking like that item list we have so just i want to use item right here items is item item list dot skip and what uh, what I want to skip that is the index just I want to skip dot take and what take that is item per page item per page okay so dot uh, just I want to list again dot to list okay 
so here we have the items that I want to uh, bind first of all in the product list so here we have and you can see you notice that that each item is uh, the first time uh, your constructor is load the refresh items so three items is uh, shown in your uh, collection view so you can see that only the three items will show on your collection view wait for some times and you will see that only three items will show on your collection view so here we have only three items on the collection view just I want to uh, pick one more items so you can see that when the refresh command is applied then you can say that product items product list dot count just I want to supply it here so uh, just when uh, refresh the items then pass that item from here index so skip that three items and the remaining three item will be shown okay so that, that is the uh, that is the method to implement the paging right here so here we have refresh command and in the refresh command just pass the product list dot count so here we have three items when uh, the first time the three items will show but when applied the refreshing you can you can notice that three items up, uh, uploaded so you notice that the remaining item, the remaining three items, one, two, three, is uh, displayed again. Okay. So uh, here we have the code to display the items. And uh, again, if you refresh the items, the remaining three items will be shown again. Like that, only the one item will be displayed. Okay. So that is the method to uh, to use uh, product list dot count and paging right here. If you want to use threshold remaining items, uh, threshold remaining items uh, also you you can use uh, in the collection view during the bindation uh, and the reached command also. Re uh, threshold command, uh, threshold reached command is applied on the mobile screen. Uh, if you want to pick up uh, one by one item in the list, so you can use uh, threshold reached items. So the collection views also define uh, two more properties uh, like that. So here we have a remaining item threshold one and the remaining item threshold reached command. Collection views also define a remaining item threshold reached event that is fired when the collection view is scrolled far enough that uh, remaining item threshold is one item have not been dis uh, have not been displayed. This event can be handled. To load more items in addition when the remaining item threshold reached event is fired the remaining item threshold reached command is ex executed Enab uh, enabling uh, incremental data loading to take place in a view model the default value of remaining item threshold properties minus one which indicate that the remaining item threshold reached event will never fired when the property value is zero okay so the only the remaining item threshold is one the remaining item threshold reach command is fired with the reached command so you can uh, you can see that uh, the output of the remaining item threshold